But I don't get it. Why bother asking for your dad's permission when they're already engaged? Oh, I don't know. I guess he was trying to win some points. But it backfired. My dad totally laid into him. Yeah, well, the jerk had it coming. You seem to be handling this pretty well. You think? Yeah, for me, I'd be raging. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I was, but I took a pancake break, and then I went right back on the warpath. Pancake? My dad made them for me to try and cheer me up. I worked better when I was eight. Uh, comfort food does have its place. When you want comfort. But not when you want to deck somebody. Yeah. I know, really. So you wanna? What? Deck somebody. Come on. Give me your best shot. Move over. What? Hey, why? Just do it. Do you want to tell me why I just did that? Yeah, so you can't leave. Now, you are not getting out of this booth until you tell me why you, a woman with a new shiny ring on her finger, is looking like her dog just died. I went to Rody's. Just came from there. I went to see John. You are seriously a glutton for punishment. I couldn't let someone else tell him that I was engaged. Hmm. So you told him and he let you have it. Okay. Um, my salad's gonna be here in a minute. Help yourself. I'll be right back. Where are you going? To kick McBain's teeth in. This shouldn't take long. Rex, no! Okay, this is between John and me. So I'm just supposed to stand by and watch him treat you like dirt? He didn't. He congratulated me. But you're upset. Is this because he didn't try to talk you out of it? I, th I should have known. I, I, I should have known that something like this was going to happen. And I'm trapped in here and she... Nobody can stop her. And, oh, I should have killed her. I should have killed her. She's not that. She's your mother. She's a freak show. You read the note? No, I didn't. Why didn't you read the note? Because there's nothing on here to read. Victor's will is going to be read today? Are you sure about that? Well, what did the lawyer say exactly? Well, nothing that could tell us anything that was going on. I mean, Taya's never met him, but apparently Victor did business with the company. He just said that he wanted to gather all the interested parties because he want to read the will as soon as possible. Okay, I'll come right over. How exciting. I'm curious to hear Victor's last wishes, aren't you? Oh, Miss Torres, do you think you could stay a little longer today? I've been called away. My brother's will is being read. I need to be there. Of course. Take your time. Thank you. Thank you. Tell Clint I'll be back as soon as I can. I'll go with you. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Victor was my son, and nothing is going to keep me from hearing his last will and testament, whether you like it or not. Vicky is on her way. Good. Does she know anything about this? She didn't seem to. Are you sure that Victor never mentioned that this guy was going to come by? <laughs> His will was not something we regularly discussed. Was it when you were married to him? No. I knew that he had a will, but I assumed that he changed it when he divorced me and married you. Probably. Well, the truth be told, last time we got married, it was my will we were concerned about. It was tough. Tough time. It's been a fun couple of years, hasn't it? Mm -hmm, but you're oh. still here. <sighs> Thank God. If Danny had to lose me as well as Victor. She loved Victor. So did my children. If there's one thing I know, Blair, it's that Victor provided for all of his children. What? Well, did you find Star? No, I told Jack and Danny to call. Did you guys reach Star? She's not answering. No, Jessica either. Maybe their phones are off. <sighs> So I guess we're just waiting for Vicky, unless... Are we forgetting anyone? <laughs>